In this lesson, we are going to cover the Set PG PC interface and displaying accessible nodes. The Set PG PC interface is for configuring the physical interface that you are going to use to go online with Step 7 with your PLC. In the status bar of the Cymatic Manager, down at the bottom, you can see your currently selected physical interface. Currently, I am configured to go online with a Profibus connection. This can be changed by going up to the Options menu and selecting Set PG PC Interface. In the Set PG slash PC Interface dialog box, the first thing is the access point of the application. This is always going to be S7 Online for the Step 7 connection to the PLC. Then you are going to tie a physical adapter with the interface parameter assignment used area to the S7 online logical access point of the application. Currently, Profibus is selected, so I'll just select Properties. This will show you the properties for the connection. The address 0 is the address of the programming device. Then you've got your network transmission parameters as far as the baud rate on Profibus goes. And then you want to make sure that your high station number is at least as high as the highest Profibus address on your network. I'll select Cancel. If you don't know the parameters for your Profibus network, you can select the auto connection. So now I'm using the PC adapter USB-A2 in the auto mode. So I can select the properties. And then you can start a network detection. This goes out and finds the current bus parameters for your network. You can also select the diagnostics button. You can do a test here. This will also show you the actual bus parameters that are currently in use. There is a read button. This allows you to go out to read the individual devices and it will tell you whether there are active nodes or passive nodes on the network that you have access to. So zero is my programming device, two is my PLC, and those are both active nodes. Station number four is a passive node, which is an IO drop. So I'll select cancel, accept my parameter configuration, and so because I'm changing the auto, it's telling me. So now down in the status bar, you can see I'm using the PC adapter USB A2 in auto mode. I will select the icon to do accessible nodes. This will go out on the interface that I have assigned to my S7 online logical connection and display all of the nodes that are available. So I'll select the plus sign here, and you can see I've got a Profibus node at address 2. If I expand that out, I can select the Blocks folder, and then I can see the actual blocks in the PLC. If I wanted to, I could open up one of the blocks. And it's just telling me there's no, there are no symbols that are assigned to this program. Then I would be able to put my glasses on and make an online connection and start monitoring the logic in the PLC. I will go offline, close out this block, and close out my accessible nodes. I'm going to select the Options menu again and pick Set PG PC Interface. So S7 Online is automatically selected. Next, I'm going to look at an Ethernet connection. So I'm going to select the second entry here. If you slide this bar over, you can see it's the TCP IP connection, which is what we want to go online, the PLC for programming. I'll select the Properties button. For the properties for the Ethernet connection, you can select this Network Properties button, and this will actually take you out to the Windows Control Panel and allow you to look at your Ethernet connection. So I'd be able to you know, view the properties of my Ethernet connection. Say OK. 
and accept the change. So now I'm changing from Profibus to an Ethernet connection. So down in the status bar, if I hover over, I can actually see which network adapter is selected and assigned to my S7 online logical interface. Now I will select display accessible nodes. This time I will select the PLC menu and pick display accessible nodes. So I can do it via the toolbar or via the PLC menu. So now I'm looking at accessible nodes via Ethernet. This is a low level search below IP addresses. In this view, I just have the small icon view, so I don't get much information about my particular devices. This is a good time to select the details view. Then you would get more information about your actual devices that you have access to. So you can view the IP addresses over here as well. If I hit my plus sign for accessible nodes, the PN-IO node is my PLC. So I can select my blocks folder. And I would be able to open a code block. So I'll open the OB1 block. Basically telling me there are no symbols again. And select my online connection. And now I'm monitoring the logic in the PLC. I'll stop monitoring and close out this window. Now we'll close my accessible nodes. You can also configure the set PG PC interface through the Windows control panel. And then there's an icon for set PG slash PC interface. And when I open that up, the only difference is, is when you do it at the operating system level, the S7 online is not automatically fixed for you. So in this case, you can actually configure additional access points in the application. But step seven is always going to use the S7 online. Then you would be able to pick whatever Ethernet interface, or you would be able to pick whatever interface that you would like to assign to the S7 online logical access point of the application. In this lesson, we covered setting the PGPC interface and displaying accessible nodes.